Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here to give you yet another 2021 movie thoughts. Yes, my second one of tonight. You would have just seen my Love Hard review up. And now, tonight, I'm also going to give you my thoughts. Yes, tonight, all three of them. I haven't watched the next two yet. But, um, I'm here to give you my thoughts on the Fear Street Trilogy. 2021, I am going to watch the next two very soon, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on, of course, Fair Street Part 1, 1994, 2021, movie thoughts. So what Fair Street Part 1, 1994 is about, it's about this uh, town called Shady Side. there's like this curse, the Switch's curse that's there, about killers and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, really. Like, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, it's like, when I'm watching it, you know, but yeah, it's about a curse that's been going on for centuries. And this is the latest thing. And they try to talk about how to stop it and stuff. So, yeah, follows a group of teens and all that. So, what did I think of Fair Street Part 1? 1994. Yo. Oh my gosh. This was amazing. I loved every second of this movie, man. I came in it for one thing. That one thing I was actually kind of disappointed with. I'll explain why in a bit. And the other thing... But the other thing made me just absolutely fall in love with this movie. Oh my gosh, alright, I'm so excited to watch the next two parts, cause, especially because I hear in part 3, it, it, there's like a full circle thing that goes back to part 1, stuff like that. And this was amazing, man. I mean, just, there's twists and turns that just go in places you do not expect. And that had me shocked, like, whoa. And there's some pretty cool death scenes. I'll say this, like, I really wish horror movies would be a lot more bloodier, especially slashes. I want to see blood spewing freaking everywhere, man. I want to see Eddie Guerrero versus JBL, Judgment Day 2004, levels of blood in horror movies. I don't get why we get so minimal blood in so many horror movies, man. You know? I want to see blood spewing, splashing everywhere like Sweeney Todd. Um, and I know so many people hate Cedar Chucky, but you can't deny that had some bloody ass awesome kills, man. Like, come on. I want to see... So, that was the thing I was a bit disappointed with. Although there was some cool bloody stuff in this. There was like this one teeny eensy shot from like 1922 or 1904 or some shit. Where you... Where for like one... For like half a second you see like it, it was like outside and you saw like a whole bunch of blood spewed <laughs> that was dope but uh you know that's a th that I kind of expect that nowadays I kind of expect to not get as much blood as I usually want you know but man the story of this movie the characters like I said all the twists and turns just had me like oh my gosh that's so awesome and the main character, Dina, I think that's her name, Dina. Um, love her. She's awesome. Uh, I didn't like her, like, when we first met her. But I did end up growing to love her by the end of it. Especially because she's the main character, Sam. Love the character of Sam. She's awesome. Uh, my man, Josh. Josh is Dina's brother. And he is my favorite character. I just thought it was so cool. And... Uh, Simon, I didn't like Simon at first, but he really grew on me, especially near the end, he was pretty funny, um, what else, um, Kate, Kate was beautiful, I, I had a, I have a crush on Kate, just like my man Josh and this, and, uh, wow, and it definitely set stuff up for the next two, and, like, it, it this actually had, is, is it a spoiler to say if it had a certain type of ending, it had a cliffhanger kind of ending, you know, but even on its own, it didn't feel like a, ep uh, I mean, it kind of did, it kind of felt like an episode of a TV series, 
but at the same time, it felt like a movie. It didn't really feel like a TV episode until, uh, until, uh, like the end, like the, like the last five minutes of the film. <laughs> and I, I kind of had a feeling there was going to be some crazy, like, last second twist or something like that right at the end. Because I looked, I, 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 I was looking at the runtime remaining, you know what I mean? Like, when it seemed like to be the closing, and I was like, there's still a little bit of movie, there's still quite a little bit of movie to go, I mean, there's still 14 minutes to go, like, I just know there's gonna be some, some weird last second twist, and there was, <laughs> um, yo, <sighs> and Netflix is on my TV right now, and there's literally, you know, when you leave Netflix on for a little bit, and then it just shows, like, various shots of certain movies that's on there you might want to watch. Love Hard just got on there. <laughs> yeah. Which I literally reviewed earlier tonight. November 6, 2021, by the way. Uh, Fair Street, Part 1, 1994. Um, again, the only... And you know what? The story was so awesome, and it's a nitpick at the end of the day. The... the the violence, the violence not being bloody enough, you know, I mean, The Shining and Get Out, those are my two favorite horror movies ever, and those didn't have too much blood, in fact, The Shining literally only had, well, aside from the bloody elevator bits, like, one death scene, well, actually, two death scenes, but, you know, that movie was, anyway, I don't really, I might be getting off track with what I'm talking about, um, yeah, love Fair Street Part 1, 1994, uh, very excited, I'm, I'm mostly excited to see how this ends, not necessarily excited for Part 3 as a whole, you know, going back to 1666, I see what they did there with that thing, by the way, but man, if, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't watch, you know, these Fair Street films, um, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't watch these Fair Street films, like, um, back, uh, when they came out in July or something, this year, um, cause then I would've had to wait a, wait a week, and then I thought would've been like, oh my gosh, you know, like, for each new film, man, if only the Dune movies were a week apart, imagine if part two of Dune already came out, like, a week and, like, a week after part one of Dune, they haven't even filmed Dune part two yet, I haven't even seen it yet, oh my gosh, but, Fair Street, Part 1, 1994. I, I give it a 10 out of 10, honestly. This is now my second favorite movie of this year so far. Number 2. Uh, behind Only Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad, I should say. This was amazing. 10 out of 10. Loved it so much. Oh, I love the soundtrack too. It, um, even if they were a bit... You know... <laughs> uh, like, um... Like, Your Woman by White Town. Literally a song I discovered like a week ago or something. I've been listening to that song like crazy for the past like week or something. And that song is in here, but remember, this is Fair Street 1994. I don't believe that song came out till 1997. Just pointing that out. Just pointing that out. And there were lots of awesome songs that I instantly recognized. The first song I think that played in this movie was... Um, what was it? Um, Closer by Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, I love Nine Inch Nails. They're one of my favorite bands ever. And, uh, this, this film was actually kind of reminiscent of the Scream. The Scream movies, uh, yeah. But Fair Street, Part 1, 1994, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna watch 78 now. Because I'm digging it. I hope I love it just as much, if not more. Alright. That's your boy's thoughts on the, yeah, this movie. I, I don't want to say Fair Street 94, the whole thing again and again, man. But, yeah, so that's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please tell me what you think of the film, and if you enjoyed your boy's thoughts, and, yeah. I'm, I'm shocked how much I love this. Holy shit. But, yeah, that's my review. 
I'll do the next two right now. So yeah, see you later. Peace out. Watching now.